Hi guys, the guy who reviews here, and today um, I'll be revealing and showing you exciting news for Windows users. If you go to blog.iphone-dev.org, um, and if you scroll down to the bottom of Red Snow here, okay, um, if you go to the Windows, there will be a download link. Yes, today. Um, as you can see by the title, um, I will be showing you how to jailbreak your your um your iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2G, and that's pretty much pretty much it. So first of all, download Red Snowy R from the Dev Team blog. Don't worry, I'll be I will be providing a link. Just look down in the description. Download it to your desktop or somewhere, <clears throat> someplace you remember. Extract it with um, your extract it. First of all, you have to right click on the file, then click extract all. After extracting it, run Red Snow. Okay. After this, you'll sh you'll you'll see um a classic red snow menu. You will be um browsing to the 4.1 firmware. But before that, plug in your iPod Touch or iPhone. I already plugged mine in, so don't worry, guys. It um it, this is a demonstration video and a tutorial. So, oh, just in case um. Any breaks or bad things will happen, to, or has happened to your device. Restore to um restore with iTunes. Then um follow my tutorial. Okay, just browse to your 4.1 firmware. As you can see um in the blog, 4.1 MC model is fe um tethered. Or what? However, or however you can say it. But um, iPhone 3G and the MB model um are not tethered. Okay. Um. Preparing jailbreak data or data. Connecting to the server, this will take a while. Around less than a minute. Okay. Patching kernel. Okay. Of course, if you're going to jailbreak, you have to install Cydia, so don't uncheck that. If you want to enable multitasking, which I would. And home screen and the home screen wallpaper. I would love to do that. This basically lets you m customize your home screen and put in a wallpaper instead of a old shaggy background of black. Enable battery percentage. Yes, just boot fettered right now. Hmm. Okay. Now, this um, I was showing you how to do this step. Please make sure your device is both off and plugged in. Basically, you just t turn off your um iPod or iPhone. Okay, click next. Okay, the way I'll pro I'll be providing a link for the DFU mode. Or just follow the instructions. Basically, you you just hold the power and the home screen. Um, power and the home screen button for ten seconds, then release the power button and keep holding the home screen for ten seconds. 
Then after that, 30 sec just wait for 30 seconds while holding the home screen button. Um, okay, there we go. After that, it will recognize your device. If it doesn't, um, please try again. You might did it. You could have done it wrong. Okay, now it will, it will, you'll see the screen. It says waiting for the reboot. But no, um, all you have to do now is wait. Now, um, if you brought um some food or some snacks, this will come in handy because this will take a while. I think it froze. Sorry guys. Um, please wait. Okay guys, I think um, you need to reboot your device, as you can see, waiting for reboot. So, at the, at the step, reboot your device. Still waiting for reboot. I'm rebooting it right now. Okay, it's already rebooted. It's at the home screen already. But nothing is happening. Okay, okay guys, I'll I'll come back. Wait, please wait. Hi guys. Um hi guys. Um at the blog it says don't um don't close the window or anything else just just leave um red snow running and keep um if you're if if you're um up to mine waiting for reboot you you just basically take off the usb plug and plug into another port or or just unplug your usb and plug it back in until it goes back okay uh, I'll just do those procedures. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be running. Okay. Let's try it back in. And then back out. Okay. Well, just skip this step, guys, and sorry if there was a big delay. So, the guy who reviews here, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe.
and today um or maybe tomorrow i'll be showing you how to fix this problem see ya